Bruce, you must have something really good too. Of course I do. It's Bruce Danielson, and I guess I'm here to entertain you too. All right. Now we can move into some conversation that's productive with uh... Tim Stenga. This was sort of brought up a couple meetings ago about the uh, uh, the sewer treatment plant on what's going on right now. Should we uh, slow it down a little bit to see what we should do on the sewer treatment plant? But you know it was shut down because everybody thinks that everything's going to be great hunky-dory. This is a need. This is something that that neighborhood does need. What we did was we put our wants in front of our needs. We put our toys in front of our needs. Instead of investing five to ten years ago into a sewer treatment plant, we went after our needs, our little toys. What are our toys making us today? Event center, closed, bad siding. City hall, closed, bad heating and cooling system. Swimming pool, closed, not making us a dime. Bad windows. Parking ramp. Citizens had to put down money for a parking ramp. The investors didn't have to put a dime. Where are we putting the citizens' needs at? We go after all of our toys. And it was brought up that if we were doing a baseball field, we'd change what we were doing. We'd look at it a little bit different. No, we've already got them toys. People, wake up. Sioux Falls has to wake up. They have to see what this city council is doing to the citizens of Sioux Falls. They're, they're draining them. I was hoping for a day like this that we would really have to sit back and really have to count our pennies to figure out how this city would do it if they really hit rock bottom. I really want to see all the stuff that has been cut, or what they're looking at cutting, to be able to do the fire station. The fire station is a need. But I also want to look at the eight point whatever million dollars that they're going to hold off on doing road projects and other projects in town. I want to see them first. So really and truthfully, if this is going to be voted on, I'd like to see it deferred. I think the citizens should be able to see what projects we're putting on hold, what projects we're putting back, because our roads suck. And if you guys can stand here and say that they're great roads, terrible. Thank you. All right, now we can move into some conversation that's productive with... Uh... Uh, Mr. Stanga brings up a good point that I've considered, and I know Councillor Sale wanted to know if I was going to support this earlier this week. And what I need to have is someone to tell the public why we can't put this on hold. So I, I'm going to ask someone to come forward and explain to the public the urgency of passing this tonight. Okay, because I agree it is, it is an important um, safety project for our city. But next week, when you come forward, and I love, Sean, and I'm going to quote you on this. I love what you said, 90 miles an hour, which is what we were, we've been running for many years now. Um, and now you said we're going five miles per hour. Six. 